Okay, guys, come with me. I got some bagging to do, a couple of figs. Um, I got a tree here that is my favorite. Now, I've only sent this tree to a few of my fig friends in the United States. Um, I'm out here picking a few figs right now. I'm whacking weeds, cutting grass. I'm taking a break. It's in the afternoon on August the 11th. This tree right here is the granddaddy of them all. It's very similar to, to Black Mission, not Black Mission, um, Black Madeira. It has that squatty shape to it. And look at that knotty bark. I love the knotty bark on this tree. It's just amazing. This is Irene's Black Greek. And right now, the figs are ripening. I'm about a month behind picking these figs because we had a cold front that came through, oh, back in March, April time frame. Um, this tree, I can get rid of every one of my fig trees except this one and I'll be happy. The figs are to die for good. I sent Dan a tree, I sent old Ben a tree, I sent Harvey a tree, and I gave my friend Michael a tree at the Fig Fest we had just last last month over at Milton Evans's farm. So I'm gonna have to bag these figs because they are almost ripe. Not quite yet. Now this is a honey fig. Leaf pattern is very, very nice. Very thick leathery leaves. Um, you probably heard of the story on the Figs for Fun that I posted about this fig tree. Uh, many people didn't believe me, but the figs on this tree will get purplish to almost black. But right now she's in full sun 24 seven. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon and the sun is just glaring out here. It's about 90 some degrees out here in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is my favorite fig of all. And it comes first, second comes Smith. But I wanna pick this fig, but it's not right. It's not, it hasn't oops honey from the eye yet. And we have a hard time, us fig people, about picking our figs because we wanna pick them. But she's not ripe yet. This guy right here in the back, he's not quite ripe yet either. Last year, this tree was loaded. I picked a few of them off. Now, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I got behind on watering my trees about two months ago. And um, this tree suffered, as well as a couple of other of my trees suffered. I let the weeds take over. I could not get back here and, and tend to it like I, like I like to. But now that I'm, I'm out here semi-retired, um, I'm out here every day now. And I want to bag these figs right here before the coons get them. And I had one coon that was after my figs a couple of months ago, and I got rid of him. That one's about right, but see. No, no, not yet. And now look, see how the tree's leaning? See how she's leaning? What did that was the raccoons and the possums um, and the squirrels. They'll come out here in the evening and they'll just climb up the tree and they'll yank on it, yank on it. And the squirrels will just climb up and try to get to the figs. And some will even bite the figs if they're ripe. And they weren't ripe yet. So, um, this is my favorite fig and I come out here every day checking on this fig and I got some air layer kits down here that I started. I need to go ahead and air layer some more off this tree and send to a few of my lucky friends. But here is the baby from this tree. This is the baby. Now I planted this one in the ground about two months ago. Again, she suffered as you can see here. This fig right here, it won't ripen. Just take it off. It's not gonna ripen at all. But this right here, this guy was in a pot and she was screaming in a 10 gallon pot, screaming, wanting to get out. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna put you in the ground and see what you do. And she's struggling a little bit because I planted it late. But as you can see here, I got moles or voles. I got rid of them too. I got some stuff for them and I got rid of every one of these guys. But um, this is Irene's Black Greek. Excellent, excellent fig. I mean, to die for amazing. And usually, people will frown upon Greek figs or just saying, oh, they ripen late. Well, well, maybe. 
but it depends on where you are in your climate. I'm in zone 8A. I'm gonna plant mama here in the ground in about four more weeks after she get all the figs off of it. I'll plant her in the ground way back over here all by herself in a big old spot. And what I'm gonna do next year is every four weeks, pump some Floralicious Plus on it. I tell you guys, I gave this tree Floralicious Plus last year every week and it just kept pumping out figs. I mean, it was just amazing. But this year, I got behind and I could not, I could not do that. Sometimes a full-time job gets in the way. But now, this fig right here, as you can see, as I planned it late, so this fig right here won't ripen. So it's time to just take it off and call it, throw it in the trash, throw it in the creek. But this is our rings Black Greek. One excellent, excellent cultivar. I am so glad my friend Irene found me at the farmer's market and told me about her fig because this fig, again, I can get rid of every one of my trees except this one and I'll be happy. Again, guys, Irene's Black Greek. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.